Hi, I'm Mark out here today to talk to you about Sight Picture. This is the fourth in the new shooter series, and this will bring everything together that we've talked about in the last few videos. The grip, trigger pull, arm placement, your Sight Picture, that brings everything up here together to make you as accurate and as consistent as you possibly can be as you're developing your shooting skills. While you're here, don't forget to grab my guide over here. It's an inexpensive guide. Uh, that you can get down in the description there. There's a link to it down in the description. Uh, that guide gives you all that I'm giving in these seven lessons on video here. Plus, it shows errors that you can recognize as you're developing your shooting skills and how to correct those errors. There's almost nobody that as they're learning to shoot does not develop some errors. Even if they're shown how to do something correctly and shown how to do it in a very solid way, most people, just for lack of comfort or whatever they're, they're trying to mentally work out will develop certain types of errors in their shooting uh, that will cause them some problems. That guide not only teaches what I'm teaching in these videos, but it shows those errors and how to correct those as they come up. It shows you how to recognize them and how to correct them. So grab that guide. It'll be helpful to you as you go through learning your shooting skills. It's something you can put on your computer, you can print it, or you can use it on your phone uh, as a reference guide. So grab that and use it as a supplement for what you're doing here. Now, sight picture. Sight picture, most people are, are familiar with the sight picture even if they don't shoot. They've seen, you know, the, the little, the little uh, horseshoe and the sight in the middle of it like this right here. <laughs> uh, I've seen that illustrated a lot on a, on a range with people showing somebody else how to shoot, show, doing, doing this with their fingers <laughs> to show them what it's supposed to look like. And in reality, that is basically what it looks like. Your, your sight picture, your, your iron sights on your gun, notwithstanding red dot sights, which are not, is not taught in this series. That's for something later on after you've learned to use your iron sights real well. Uh, that sight picture is, is pretty critical. Uh, assuming that sights are on and are accurate or are, are working with the gun that they're on, which most of them do out of the box. They come out of the box ready to shoot. Uh, Assuming that's the case, it's very critical that that sight picture is lined up consistently. When you're outdoors, you just got to wait on it to get by. <laughs> but it's, it's critical that that sight is lined up consistently the same way every time with the notch and the sight evenly aligned across the top and with the notch or with the, the sight or the front sight in the middle of the notch. That's where your sight picture is going to be on your target when you're trying to get some accuracy out of your handgun. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my gun out here and I'm gonna get over in front of one of the targets and I'm gonna put on a GoPro, a head mounted GoPro, and I'm gonna do the best I can to show you the various ways that a sight picture may be placed on your target to be able to get the best accuracy you can get out of your gun. Okay, I'm gonna take my gun over and I'm going to uh, put it right in front of a uh, dirty bird target on a on a red dot there and just uh, kind of show you how your sight picture should sit and I'll explain it with my fingers and everything and talk about it then I'll line up and actually shoot at the head of a, a uh, steel silhouette over here and just uh, show you how it's supposed to work your sight picture in the new shooter series here we go okay I'm gonna just point it out now with my fingers with the sight picture your uh, this is not something that most people are unfamiliar with at least seeing and that is that the, this post should line up with these two notches in the middle and lined up evenly across the top. Those, in that sight picture, with your arms out, your grip, everything out, your arms straight out, aiming at your target, that sight picture should line up with your target that you intend to shoot. When you get that lined up with the target that you are intending to shoot, your focus should go to this front sight post. Not back here, not to the target, but with a sight picture, with these lined up, your focus should go to this front post. And that's where your firing would be done for accuracy. That will give you the greatest ability to focus exactly where you need it to be without it wavering from that target. So these lined up across this way, in the center on the target with your focus on the front sight is where you shoot 
that's your sight picture and how it sits now if a gun comes with adjustable sights and the sight picture you're getting is resulting in you shooting right or left before you decide to change those sights go put it in somebody else's hands let them shoot it see if somebody else shoots it the same direction you do if they don't if they're putting it here instead of over here or over here it means you need to adjust your shooting adjust your grip adjust your trigger control your arms whatever it is but you're going to have to adjust that rather than adjusting the sights okay i know there's a lot of talking in this but that's the way you learn and i'm going to line up just like i just showed you here except i'm, I'm not going to be lining up on a little dot but i'm going to be lining up on the head of a silhouette target over here a steel silhouette and just shooting several rounds into it with the sight picture just like i just showed you just now Getting your sight placement like we just did here is the fourth component in everything you do up here. Your grip, your trigger control, your arms, and your sight picture is on the target. That's when you fire, that's where you develop your accuracy, that's where you get to where you can hit your tactical targets in the head if you want to. Getting these things down is critical in this mix of developing your shooting skills. So. That's number four. Be working on those things. I'll be back soon with another video that will go to your posture. We'll move down from up here, from our eyes and our hands and our arms. We'll move down to here, to our posture, then on down to our stance, and then to target placement to develop your skills. Don't forget to grab my guide. That guide will help you. It'll give you all seven lessons that I'm giving here. Plus, it will expose errors that will show you how to recognize those errors that shooters commonly develop as they're learning and it will show you how to correct those. So grab that guide, it's inexpensive and it's something you can uh, actually put on your phone and, and carry with you if you want to, to read it or you can print it or do whatever you wanna do with it. So grab that, be sure to go down and subscribe, hit that bell down there so when we put up a new video, you'll get a notification of it. In the meantime, I'm Mark Rogers. I'll be going and getting another video ready for you past this one that will go down to posture. And I hope you'll join me then. I'm Mark and I'll see you real soon.